I hope you are doing good mentally, physically, and mechanically. If you are new here, my name is Aspen Tara. I like motorcycles, I do my oil change, and I play video games. Video games, but you're a bit mostly at Brembo's. Look, I talked about this in my last video. Long story short, Aspen Tara good, Bimbo's with Brembo's bad. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Aspen Tara is my author name, and honestly, I just feel like I can go a lot farther with it. I resonate a lot more with it, if that makes sense. And Bimbles with Brembos, while well, it's a great name, um, I just feel like I have more to offer than that. Just to clear the air, I'm not jumping on the go a gamer girl bandwagon, okay? I've been playing video games since I was like eight years old. I started on PlayStation and I played like Disney Princess games, Crash Bandicoot, GTA, and then like Mario Kart, the OG. Then I moved on to Call of Duty, Black Ops, Modern Warfare, um, games like that. And honestly, I fell in love with um, story games like Beyond Two Souls, The Last of Us, The Walking Dead gameplay. I really, really love those. Those are my favorite. And after like five years of shit talking Xbox, I finally got one just for Forza. That's it, that was the only reason. <laughs> but I have Game Pass, so I'm trying to branch out and try some new games. Recently, my ex actually got me a Switch and I've been playing Animal Crossing like almost 500 hours already. <laughs> but now it is time to join the PC Master Race. Disclaimer. This is my first PC build and although it'll kind of feel like a how-to format, I have absolutely no expertise to tell you how to do this. If you are looking to build a PC, I would recommend the text source video. Honestly, that's basically the gist of my like guidelines on the steps I need to do. Um, but there's a lot of good YouTube research you can do. This is just so you can struggle with me. For my motherboard, I went with the Asus Tough Gaming X570 plus Wi-Fi because my router is literally on the other side of the house. Say what you want, but I'm gonna be wearing a wrist strap The RAM sticks on this motherboard, this side, it doesn't open. On most of the videos I saw, they would both click open, but of course I had to get something that's different, so they seem like they're in. I don't know, I hope they're in. Next is gonna be my M.2, my little SSD. And with this motherboard, there are two options. You can put it right here, or you can put it right here. Since I'm going to be putting my graphics card here, I'm going to leave that one um, empty so they're not on the same bandwidth and just run it over here. You can see there's a notch right there. Just line it up with your notch on your SSD. I'm not gonna lie, right about now I'm feeling very intimidated. Lots of regret for attempting this. Um, also pretty worried that I messed up the motherboard. 
So it seems like it's in. The holes uh, align now. But this stupid IO shield was giving me just the most problems trying to get this in. Next thing we're going to do is the Elgato capture card. This is going to go in the lower PCIe slot. Next up is the graphics card, which I went with the Gigabyte GeForce um, RTX 3080. This thing is heavy. It is 2 in the morning, and I'm trying to be quiet so I don't wake the house, but I think I finished. I don't have the case fans yet. I'm going to get them tomorrow, but I think it's ready. I did forget that I did not have the RAM properly seated, which is why every time it turns on, the RGB doesn't work. So let's see. Now. Well, that definitely took some years off my life, but I'm so happy that it's finally together. I went ahead and did the BIOS update as well as Windows 10. I actually had bought Windows 11, but for some reason with that motherboard, you have to do the BIOS update first and I was impatient. And so I just did Windows 10, but I could basically update it now if I want. But I do hear some mixed feedback on Windows 10 versus 11. So let me know what you think about it in the comments if I should upgrade or just stick with 10 for now. But man, that was a shit show. First off, getting the motherboard in, it would not fit in the IO shield like in the case. And I felt like I had to manhandle it. And I honestly, I thought I broke it. And then the RAM, when I turned it on, it was supposed to be RGB and it didn't light up and I was like, uh, and it turns out that it was not all the way in. So definitely make sure it's seated. A really cool thing with my motherboard is that it has these little safety lights for the RAM, uh, graphics card, computer, um, and then a green light to boot if everything's working the way it should. But it'll land on these lights if something's wrong. So next, after I fix the RAM, it landed on the graphics card. Ugh. And honestly, I don't know what was wrong with that. Maybe it was just seated weird, but basically I took it out, put it back in, didn't work, took it out, took the Elgato capture card out, put the graphics card back in, started it, and it worked. So maybe the capture card was the issue, maybe it wasn't seated right, I'm not sure. But it works now and I'm so happy. And I'm so excited to start playing games. So leave in the comments what you would like to see. Definitely gonna be starting with a Animal Crossing Island tour. Hate me if you want, but I'm so excited. I've got like 80%, 70% of the island done and it's awesome and I love it. My goal is to stick to a schedule and I'm gonna be posting videos every Monday, whether it's video game related or mechanic related. It won't be bike related because I don't have one anymore. Why did I sell it? But the F-150 needs a lot of maintenance, like an oil change coming up, the brake job, and then, you know, whatever decides to break on me, knock on wood. But thank you so much for the support and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.